At forward, 6'7 and a sophomore. From Cerritos, California, 15, Kevin Holland. At guard, 6'3 and a freshman. From Glenview, Illinois, number 22, Brad Neiman. A 1971 graduate of DePaul, completing four seasons with a record of 87 and 34, and four NCAA bids. Head coach Joe Meyer. Every year, he began to become closer to the players, you know, and more personal towards the players. And I think I know that I really appreciated that, and uh, you know, I think everybody did. He really took the time out to really care about, you know, each person regardless you know of whether or not they were a star. I think this team developed, well, I know it did, it, it developed better than any team I've coached, probably better than any team I've been around a long time, that, uh, and that's a lot of credit to people like Strickland and Brundy and Green and those guys because I think they continue to work and continue to improve, and when things got the bleakest, that seems to be when they really concentrated. And at the end of the year, we went in the tournament, I, I really liked our idea. We believed we were going to the Final Four. I think every player on the team believed we were going to the Final Four, and that's the kind of attitude you want. That confidence was born of experience. The Blue Demons played three overtime games in their first five, and none was more thrilling than the 73-69 win over Notre Dame. Forward, 6'4", Jr. from Flint, Michigan, 13, Terrence T. Green. At forward, 6'6", and a sophomore, from Chicago, 25, Chris Henderson. At guard, 6'5", Sr., tri-captain, Elmhurst, Illinois, 14, Andy. Louts. Andy was a steady player for us, but uh, if Andy did anything, he should go give his whatever he makes to Ed Stites, the rule committee guy, because he put in three-point play, and that's, you know, the, the really thing that helped Andy's career, probably. I think it, more than anything, though, it changed uh, just my way of thinking and my confidence in myself. Uh, you know, I started, you know, early in the season, I hit a couple. You know, I realized what, you know, my role could be and that there was really a spot for me and sort of a niche for me. And, uh, you know, I really think that more than anything it helped me as far as my confidence goes. Uh, you know, I, I love the three-point line and, uh, you know, that was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Laux and DePaul found themselves underdogs in the rematch against the Irish, but pulled away down the stretch to win 77-71 and send the Joyce Center crowd home quiet. forward, 6-7 in the junior, from LACA, 23, the LA Express, Stanley Brundy. 
At forward, 6'8 freshman from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Number 31, Billy Hepner. At forward, 6'9 senior, tri captain, Jackson, Michigan. 55, Kevin Golden. When I came to the program, I knew that I wasn't going to come to play right away. I mean, the coaches were straightforward with me, and I knew that, and I knew it was going to take some time. So I just kept, kept with it, and it really didn't bother me, because I knew the talent that I was working with and, and what it would take to play. And so I was just patient, and luckily it came through. You'd never find a, a more aggressive player. He, he fought more than any guy on the court. You know, he was always the one on the ground diving for loose balls. Uh, he, was a, he was a big team motivator. Took a lot of initiative in getting things done. DePaul's fighting spirit faced a serious test against Bradley. Coming off heartbreaking losses at NC State and Georgia Tech, the Blue Demons needed a big game against the nationally rated Braves. The defense melted, hot shot Hersey Hawkins, and DePaul won 86 to 80. Strickland, whoa! -ho! Ball spun in and out, no good. Tipped by Brundy in. He is all over the glass. Left side, three-point try on the way. Key Green hits the three-pointer. Green with a hot hand. Cross court. Oh, Edwards a great save. Spinning drive. Baseline, he scores. Oh, quick release blocked by Key Green. Picked up by Brundy. Two on two break. Edwards takes it to the hoop. Scoops and scores. Nice play by T. Green. At center, 7-1 and a sophomore from Elgin, Illinois. 44, the Chief, James Hamby. At guard, 6'3", senior, tri-captain, from Cleveland Heights, Ohio. Number 20, Kevin Edwards. Kevin Edwards is probably the best backcourt partner I ever had. And I think he's, he's one of the hardest workers I've played with, too. And he always sort of motivated me, because I see him working hard always made me want to work hard. I just worked on everything. I knew that I would have to work on everything to, you know, prepare for the next level. When I was junior college, I really stressed it and doing the things that I thought would be, that I would need to do to um, get to the next level. DePaul needed a big performance against St. John's to get on track for an NCAA tournament bid. Rod Strickland, home in the Big Apple, but on a Madison Square Garden clinic, and DePaul rolled. 65-51. Baseline jumper, Strickland. Oh, and dandy. He shot that from behind the plate of the glass. Oh, a nice pass inside. Rundy with a left-handed roll. Lauchs from three. In and out and back in. He got the roll. For Andy Lauchs. At forward, 6'10", sophomore, from Fayetteville, North Carolina, 34, Charles, so well. At guard, 6'1", senior, from Freeport, Illinois, number 12, the Racket Man, Jason Toon. Walk-ons always are folk heroes at DePaul. I mean, you know, I think a lot of guys probably have fantasies that someday to become a walk-on at DePaul. They get more publicity than sometimes starters do. It's uh, Sam Manella and, and uh, Latner, and you go down the line and you realize these guys are remembered as well as some of the stars. Being here at DePaul, it's such a high-profile university, and, and getting to know people like Billy Meyer and Ray Meyer and the great players that play here, Rod, and. And, and the rest of the team, it was, it was really a dream come true. I mean, it was really fantastic. The Blue Demon dream was a big red nightmare for Louisville. DePaul struck early and often in a blitzkrieg that grounded the high-flying Cardinals 77-58. And here comes the man. Oh, my. Green left alone. It's partially blocked by Holland. Green with a rebound. Strickland says, it's my turn. Boy, 
it. They smoke it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're seeing the destruction of an outstanding team, Louisville. DePaul playing an absolutely marvelous game. At center, 6'10 and a sophomore from Brockton, Mass. Number 50, Curtis Jackson. And at guard, 6'3 and a junior, out of the Bronx, in New York. Number 10, Hot Rod Strickland. I kind of remember Rod at DePaul for the fact we played three years, he had 68, we had 68 wins, you know, he's over 22 wins a season. Um, I thought down the stretch he played as well as any point guard in America. I really feel coming out right now he's the best point guard in America. He's outstanding, but there's so many great guards in the country, but you got to say, hey, this guy's one of them. So that's why I came here, I wanted the national exposure, and DePaul has a lot of it, and, you know, like I said, Going back home and, you know, being recognized and your friends see you playing. You know, I think they enjoy seeing somebody from around their neighborhood doing well. DePaul rolled into postseason play, shocking Wichita State, 83-62 in the tournament's opening round. Rod Strickland, Kevin Edwards, and friends were at their best that night, causing a commotion in Notre Dame's Joyce Center. I think there's going to be a lot of challenges ahead of us right now because I think a lot of people are not expecting DePaul to have a big year next year because we're losing the best backcourt in the country. That to me just challenges me and I know it challenges our team. We had a good recruiting year, we got some people coming back that have good experience, we got some young players that I think are going to develop. I guess I'm excited about it because people don't expect as much and it just makes me want to work harder and I think it's going to make our team want to work harder.